Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. The book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. Bring it out. He that believeth on me. So this is Jesus speaking. Jesus said, you believe in Jesus, right? Yes, Jesus said, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, as the scripture say. So whatever the scripture say about Jesus, you must what? Believe. You got to believe it. You understand? So it matters. Whatever's written in the Bible matters when it comes to Jesus. When it comes to the Bible, period, it all matters. Read on. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's understanding. Understand. You're going to get understanding. You're going to get wisdom. So now, I'm going to ask you again. What color is Jesus? Now, the Bible do document what color Jesus Christ is. You know what? Well, well I wasn't paying attention when I was in Sunday school. But I'm going to tell you something. They never read that scripture to you because the Bible says you got to believe in Christ. You got to believe in Jesus as the Bible says. Verse 48, therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy. So God said that we was going to serve our enemies. Hey, sister, right here, you got a couple minutes? I want to, I want to, come over here real quick. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. God said that the blacks and the Hispanics will serve our enemies. How? In slavery. This is the slave rap right here. Right How we was dropped off in all around the world into these different countries. Because we broke the commandments. Come here, bro. I want to show you according to the Bible that true is life. God's chosen people. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are God's chosen people. And God has something in store for us that's great. But in order to get what's great that God has in store for us, we got to come back to this Bible and keep God's commandments. We can't keep playing church. Ain't no going to church running around acting like you got the Holy Ghost. That's not the Holy Ghost according to the Bible. What you've been taught is lies. How you doing, sister? I'm blessed. My name is Zephaniah. What's your name? Christine. Christine. You grew up in church? All day long. Mama. All day long. Love you love God? All day long with my heart, mind, body, and soul. Heart, mind, body, and soul. Okay, let me ask you a question. What what denomination are you? A Baptist, Seventh-day Adventist, Baptist. Job? Uh, you Pentecostal. You're a Pentecostal. Okay. So what have you learned as a Pentecostal? No smoking, no drinking, no fornicating, no nothing, no short skirts, no none of that. You said no short skirts? No short skirts, no nothing. Do you, do you, do you smoke right now? Yeah. You smoke? Huh? I'm praying to him right now. You, you smoke? smoke but you was taught not to smoke. I know. So why are you doing it now? I don't know, it just came to happen. My mama let me run around with the people's names and throw or whatnot, and she told me I shouldn't let you hang out with them. They mama smoked and drank to have parties and stuff, and I used to... I grew okay, up let me ask you this question. Name. So you grew up in church. You still go to church? Yes. What's your nationality? Pentecost. That's a religion. Oh. What's your race? Oh, black African-American. Black African-American. Hey, come here, bro. Come around, swing around. You said black African American. Would you believe it? Let me ask you another question. What color is Jesus? I don't care, and I don't care what no, color. No, 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 that ain't what I asked you. Give me, give me uh, that in John 7 38. So they, in a, in, if you grew up in church, watch this, sis. No, 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 let me say something to you. If you grew up in church all your life, they should, you should know what color Jesus is, and that it do matter. What color Jesus is. Now, why, I'm going to read the scripture to you. Watch this. Watch this, sis. Watch, watch. The book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. Bring it out. He that believeth on me. So this is Jesus speaking. Jesus said, you believe in Jesus, right? Yes, Jesus said, he that believeth on me, 
as the scripture has said, as the scripture say. So whatever the scripture say about Jesus, you must what? Believe. You got to believe it. You understand? So it matters. Whatever's written in the Bible matters when it comes to Jesus. When it comes to the Bible, period, it all matters. Read on. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's understanding. Understand. You're going to get understanding. You're going to get wisdom. So now, I'm going to ask you again. What color is Jesus? Now, the Bible do document what color Jesus Christ is. You know what? Well, well I wasn't paying attention when I was in Sunday school. But I'm going to tell you something. They never read that scripture to you because the Bible says you got to believe in Christ. you got to believe in Jesus as the Bible says. Now, I'm asking you, just give me a straight answer, sister. What color is Jesus? I'm trying to help you out. What color is he? What color do you think he is? Be any color you want him to be. Any color you want him to be. Okay, so that's, so that's what they... Okay, that's what they taught you in church. Yeah. That's what they taught you in church. Now... The churches have lied to our people. The churches, if you've been taught that in church, and the Bible says that you must believe in Jesus as the scriptures say, I'm going to show you your pastor been lying to you all this time. He's a hustler. Watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm going to read what color Jesus is, one and one. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Hey, sister, can I ask you a question? What color is Jesus? He's white. Okay. Hey, so who you with? And I'm going to show you what color Jesus is. That's your mama? Now listen. The Bible says the revelation of Jesus Christ. I'm going to read this. Let's jump to the point. Let's see what color Jesus is. Verse 14. You heard what she said? He's white. You said it don't matter. And he can be any color. Now watch this. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the hair on Jesus' head and the hair on his beard, it was white and woolly. What people got woolly hair? Black people got woolly hair. So Jesus Christ got woolly hair. Breathe. That's why it's snow. It, it was fully white or what we call gray. Watch this. His eyes was as a flame of fire. Breathe. And his feet. And he looked down at Jesus' feet like I can look down at your feet. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. Brass. Not grass. Brass with a B. Brown. Brass is brown. Watch this. Listen. As fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So they say Jesus' skin was so dark, sis, it looked like it burned in the furnace. If you burn some in the furnace, what color is it going to turn? Black. Brown. Black. So what color is Jesus? Black. He's a black man, right. according to the Bible. So what's sister? Jesus Christ is a black. Look, that make you feel good. I see you smiling. Yes, the greatest man that walked the earth is a black man. That's right. Jesus the Christ. Is a black man. Now, now watch this, sis. Give me my news real quick. I'm gonna show you something. You, you finna cry? You never knew Jesus was a black man. It should make you cry. Cause when I found out he was a black man, it made me cry. Tears came down my eyes because I thought the greatest man that walked the earth was a white man. What has happened to our people? The pastors have been lying to our people for all these years. You grew up in the Pentecostal church. You grew up as a Seventh-day Adventist, a Baptist, a Mormonism. You grew up in, uh, what's another one? Seventh-day Adventist. Seventh Adventist. And they've been lying to you. They have not taught you the truth in this Bible. They told you it don't matter what color Jesus is. But the Bible says you must believe in Jesus as the scriptures say. That's right. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!